Speaking of linebackers, Coach Humph, before the show started, asked a question, and I wanted to get to it, but I wanted to make sure I kind of led into it here. Uh, Coach Humph asking, my first two hot takes a few months ago were that Kingston, Kingston uh, or KVA is starting, and the linebackers would be at least as good as last year, if not better. Jamie, are you ready to acknowledge I'm on to something? So um, I, I think we've heard. Was it, I, did was was did I like crap all over this thing or before? No, I, I, I think no. I, I think he okay. just. I think he. I think it was during a show, and he oh, okay. he put out there that KVA would start. I mean, and this was, you know, before he before there were any reports. So yeah, I you, you could say he was at the forefront of that stuff, right? I don't think people were. I think it would be hot takey a few months ago to be like, hey, KVA started. I mean, it was a hot take. That's what he said. He, he hot was. take. Yeah. So, and and, and, and I think it around. would be hot. And I think it would be hot takey to say the linebackers will be better than last year, given the fact that JD Bertrand was there, given the fact that uh, Marist was there, right? In addition to guys like Jalen Sneed uh, and, and um, you know, things of that nature. So, do you think he's on to something here? Uh, you know, you have Jack Kaiser. You have Jalen Sneed. You've had glowing comments about Drake Bowen. Uh, we've heard good things about Jaden Osbury. Uh, we've heard good things about KVA. Obviously, we just I just talked about him. Uh, where do you think the linebacker position is? And is there going to be kind of a marrying of the the potential and the individual pieces into like a really good linebacker unit uh, in 2024? I think they're going to be really good at linebacker. Okay, so we're so, we're gonna we're gonna coach Humph. I I think so. Monitoring. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that yeah, coach Humph. Uh, you know, yeah. Well, I mean, TBD to be like if they're end up being better, but I think we've got a long way to go. But we're trending. You no, know, I I I definitely think the potential is there, and I certainly think that um, they're going to be deeper in terms of the number of guys they can play. Yeah. Um, the one thing I'll say with KVA is I think in like on other circumstances where they did have some like talent there, if there was like, there's been other times where maybe they didn't have this kind of group at linebacker where I'd say like KVA would no doubt start. Yeah. But the, and the fact that you're saying that about a true freshman, like, is pretty insane because yeah. that's when you get into Manti and Jalen Smith territory. And I think if you look at even them, I think in certain ways, you know, in terms of just mentally, he's probably more advanced than those guys. Right. And the, more advanced than Manti and Jalen Smith. Yes. Right. Um, it just like, they everything I've heard, and then it was like kind of echoed today because we got to talk to uh Max Bulla, and then, then the linebackers is just like he is just so on it in terms of and just further ahead than you would expect for any freshman. Um, so that just automatically that's just something that puts him at a different level right away because yeah. that's the hardest part for all of these guys because. You know, that's the one thing with like Jalen Sneed right now is that he's going into year three and it's his third spring. And now's the time that we're finally like, oh, it, things are starting to click for him. And it's like, well, I mean, KVA walked on a campus and it was like, click, you know, like yeah. he flipped the, the switch was flipped already right before he was he was ready to go. Right. So I think um, but I mean, the one thing that I'll say is that. I'm not saying that he 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 won't start or he might not start. He might start, right? I, I that could possibly happen. But like I said, I've, I've heard nothing but like really really good stuff about Drake Bowen. Drake Bowen looks fantastic. Um, I think Kaiser, you know, looks really good too. And he's going to start the Kaiser's going to start the first game. Like it's yeah. You know, he's going to start the first game no matter what and probably like, you know, at the very least play a ton this year. Right. So I think what it's more like it's trending towards like I think Notre Dame is going to play like probably four or five linebackers this year. Yeah. And that's kind of what where they're at, um, which uh, I think is a good thing. Right. Like that's because 
if you look at say like the 2018 season and where you know coney and tranquil like never left the field ever and i'm sure it, it just it's not like a bad thing that those guys didn't leave the field they were awesome they were fantastic that year but just in terms of uh you know where like you just want to be in terms of like when so when when he got hurt when tranquil got hurt that year and it was like oh my gosh like you know like jgh had to step in and yeah. play and then it was like drew white had to play against navy in this thing it's like well i mean drew white went from like the scout team to just all of a sudden he had to play against navy so this is this is what i see here okay so we talked about i'll, I'll get jamie out of here and then when he unfreezes we'll bring him back uh so what i think is was what will happen out here in with the linebackers i think that they will be i think that the linebackers will be better individually but they still have to go play to that level right like you can't just it's one thing to be talented and i think that's where kind of i come out on this is like they they are more talented kind of across the board maybe not better athletes because like marist and jd bertrand are like a really good they're really good athletes but these guys have a much better like pedigree coming from better programs different programs and they have um like KVA came from Bosco, right? Like Drake Bowen came from it was like a highly, highly rated recruit, right? Whereas that wasn't the case for Marist and JD Bertrand. Um, same thing with Jalen Sneath, like very highly rated recruit. Jay Nosbury, very highly rated recruit. They do have to come out here and play. I think Jamie is right that we're gonna see multiple linebackers, like four or five linebackers play. So you won't see a linebacker, like in my opinion, won't see a linebacker like lose the or lead the team in in tackles this year i just don't think that's going to happen right and it'll be hard to gauge them from a, a just pure number standpoint because they're not because they're, I, like is anyone going to have over 500 snaps this year right like i just don't know that that's going to be a thing so it's going to be difficult for them to accumulate um numbers let's see uh jamie says he thinks it's his internet so he's going to check on that so that's kind of where it is. It's going to be hard for them to accumulate numbers. Um, let's let me go back to CFB Hertz asked the question here uh, about do you expect less nickel in favor of three linebacker formations? See, I wouldn't expect that because nickel is such a base piece of what they want to do, and I don't think that they have a linebacker who is capable of bridging the gap between being a linebacker and being kind of that nickel guy who can cover a la JOK bring Jamie back in here. Uh, welcome back. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I had to, I had to hotspot my phone. The internet here is spotty. So sorry spotty internet. All right. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to keep, we're going to keep it rolling here. Jamie, I don't know if you're able to hear any of that. Um, uh, um, so, go ahead. Well, I heard the I heard the tail end of it. Uh, no, I don't expect. Like, I I don't think they're gonna. I, maybe slightly less. They're still a nickel team. They're still it, a nickel it's, team. It, it would have to be like scheme dependent to an opponent. Yes. Um, it would have to be something like that. 